Coming in in the crazy sweepstakes uh, today, the Republican crazy sweepstakes, you know, uh, if you're a Republican candidate running for Senate, I don't know, anywhere across the country, you could have one of two reactions to what Todd Aiken said. One reaction could be, oh, God, that guy just blew his election. I'm so glad I'm not him. Wow. Mental note to myself. Uh, don't, you know, parse about rape and just stay away. That's one reaction you could have. Turns out there's another reaction you could have, which is, why is Todd Aiken getting all that attention? Just because he holds what I perceive to be a very normal and balanced view about what rape is. Hey, uh, advisors, gather around. What are we going to do about this? And apparently, Tom Smith, Republican candidate for Senate in Pennsylvania, falls into the latter group. Because Monday, he was at the Pennsylvania Press Club and said, I condemn Aiken's comment. However, I do agree with Aiken that abortion should be banned without any exceptions. And so a reporter said, well, how would you handle a daughter or a granddaughter who became pregnant as a result of rape? Smith said he had already lived something similar to that. And he said, quote, she chose life. And I commend her for that. She knew my views, but fortunately for me, I didn't have to. She chose the way I thought. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't rape. So the reporter said, wait, I'm sorry. Can you clarify what that situation was? And he says, oh, having a baby out of wedlock. And he added, to clarify further, put yourself in the father's position. Yes, it's similar. So in other words, just to explain to you, if your daughter or granddaughter has a child out of wedlock, from a father's perspective, that's just like her being raped. Now, let me break it down a little further for you. The important element about a woman being pregnant is not whether or not she's pregnant because she consented to having sex with a partner and decided to have a child or not. As a father, I mean, one way to look at it is like, that's that's one way she could perceive it. The other way she could perceive it is that she is somehow attacked or uh, forced to have sex against her will. There's no difference for a dad. So in other words, if my daughter grows up and decides, like, I'm not going to marry uh, this guy, Bob, but we're going to have a child. That's as if she's raped from the perspective of a dad. That's what he's saying. And, of course, the old man's perspective is the most important one when it comes to having a child. Well, that's also the most important perspective in terms of the daughter. You understand? Because whatever my daughter does is only relevant to the extent of how I feel about it. She's going to have a child with a man and not get married. She might as well just get raped. Because really... It's how I respond to it is the most important aspect. And in fact, he almost goes there when he says, she knew my views, but fortunately for me, I didn't have to. She chose the way I thought. Now, I wonder what he would have said if he didn't say, wait a second, in that strategy session where I said I'm going to be bigger than Aiken, um, is there a line we should draw? Yeah. Um, don't say that you would have forced 
your daughter to have a pregnancy. Um, don't, don't, don't say that. Keep that in your sleeve. We want a card to play later in the election period. So fortunately, she chose the way I thought. See that? So that is um, Senate candidate Tom Smith, Republican, from that backward-ass state of Pennsylvania. Oh, and uh, just an update. The out-of-wedlock pregnancy was not actually in his own family. He was just putting himself in that position. Though I don't know how he would have forced that woman to do, but fortunately she... Don't worry about that part. That's just him being... <laughs> him being him. Wait, he lied about the scenario that his daughter was... What? I don't know. I don't know that he lied about it. It's just that people got confused. Maybe he was putting himself in that position. It doesn't matter. It could have been a friend of his, or maybe he just wanted to convolute the answer after the fact. But it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, yes, you argue that makes him crazier. I say, no, it doesn't. 